Hello and welcome to How to Webmaster. Today I'm going to show you how to install just about any PHP web scripts with your cPanel hosting account. Most PHP scripts containing full website templates install in a similar way. You will need a domain name and a web hosting account if you want to learn how to register a domain and buy web hosting. See my tutorials down below. Ok let's get started. In this example is the famous WordPress website script which is basically a PHP script. Go ahead and download it here. After downloading, go ahead and extract the content from the zip file. Almost every single web script file will have a readme file or instruction file which will show you how to install the particular script. In this WordPress example, there is a readme file here. Open it up. Here you will see the instructions to installing this particular WordPress script. There are five steps seen here. Step 1 is telling us to unzip and upload the files to your hosting server. Log into your cPanel account. Your cPanel dashboard layout and colors may look different, but it all works the same way. OK, locate the file manager and click on it. Next, go to the public HTML folder here. We will be uploading files here, but be careful though, because uploading into the public HTML folder will overwrite content already seen here. If you have a blank website, then you don't have anything to worry about. If you already have a website, you can always make a new folder and upload new script files to it. Alright, let's click on upload button. Click on the select file button. Then locate the zip file to upload. Once done uploading to 100%, click go back. Inside of your public HTML folder will now contain your uploaded zip file. Click on it, then click on the extract button here to extract. There will be a pop-up showing your extracted files, just close the pop-up. Let's head back to the readme instructions. Now step 2 is going to the install link as seen here. Ok so the zip file that was just extracted contained the folder called WordPress. Here it is. Let's open it up. Alright, looks like all the files are there. Now let's visit the link as seen in step 2 of the instruction. For my website, it would be my domaindeals.com slash wordpress slash wp-admin slash then install.php. This is what you will see upon visiting this install link. Not all web scripts you install will go exactly like these steps. Anyways, let's click continue. In this step it is asking for database details. Almost every single PHP script using a database, you can create a new database inside of cPanel the exact same way. Back in your cPanel dashboard, locate the databases section and click on my SQL databases seen here. On this page, create a new database, name it whatever you like. Create the database. Now click to go back. Scroll down until you see create a new database user. Enter in the username and password, anything you like. Then click on create user. Good, now let's go back. Scroll all the way down until you see add user to database. Select from the drop down menu list the user in the database that were just created. Then click the add button. On this next page, click on the all privileges checkbox. And click on make changes button. Now that the database is created, head back to the WordPress install page. Click on let's go button. On this page, you will need to fill out the database information. You need to use the same exact database details as seen in your cPanel database info. So just copy and paste. The password will be the exact password that you've entered in when creating the database user. The next part is the database host. 99% of the time is going to be local host. So just leave that field as default as local host. The last part is the WP table prefix. You don't need to mess with this. Leave it as default. Ok now click on submit button. 
All right, it was successful in making the database connection. If there are any errors, it is likely that you've entered in the incorrect database details. Go back and try again if needed. Now go and continue with the installation process. This next part, enter in your new site details. Again, not all PHP web scripts you install will have this kind of install process where you enter in your new site details and website admin username and password. Anyways, for WordPress you need to. After installing WordPress successfully, let's visit the new website. Once again, the link to your site depends on the folder you have installed in. For my website is mydomaindeals.com slash WordPress. Here it is. Congratulations, you have now successfully installed a PHP web script. There are thousands of PHP scripts like this. A lot are free and open source, and plenty of premium scripts that you can buy as well. The majority of modern scripts will be this easy to install and set up. Okay, that is all for this video. I hope it was helpful for you. Again, if you need instructions on getting a domain name and web hosting, see my other tutorials down below. Thank you for viewing. Please subscribe for more tutorials and reviews on web mastering.